these next three plays are some of his <laughs> best plays yes. of the game. Yeah, he's fantastic. In, he's able There's to get. Throw. This is amazing. Yeah, this is what we we're talking about. He's able to to get back, and he's really able to just drive through through this ball. And he really gets a lot like great. I gotta say, like he he uh, transfers his weight extremely well, much better than Jimmy Garoppolo does. Like, you can give Jimmy Garoppolo all this space, and he still would like stand flat footed and float the ball out there. Like this is great. Yeah, you know he's not going to drive the ball like this. This is a nice. No. This is a really nice one. Hell of a nice throw. These are the throws he makes, and you're like, okay, maybe I, maybe you are worth a, a top ten pick. I don't know. Yeah, no, he's gonna he's gonna have to move a little bit. He hits his check down. This is a good one too. Here, there's no one else open deep. Moves yeah. over and he, he gets it out to him, and they get a, a nice little gain right here. Yeah, it's a beautiful play. So you know, the questions of with him are, are move, movement in the pocket and, and he, ability to keep his his eyes downfield. This time it looks like he kind of does, and then he goes to his uh, his check down. Mm-hmm. Now, real quick, be, before you run this play, this if you take as you watch this play unfold, this is a, a, a very similar route concept to what you see with the 49ers run. This is the what you're going to get is you're going to get a little hitch down on the bottom with a, a, a corner or not a corner, but a, a fade out of the inside guy. Think of the 49ers against New England and the throw that Garoppolo almost missed on the deep route to Ayuk, I believe it was. Yeah, it's the same. It's, it's the same concept. Yeah. Even they got the little hitch, the little pump, and go. Boom. And again, Boom. slows down, slows down, slows down. Could have been a touchdown. I mean, it is it's a it's it's a nice play, but he did slow down. Yeah, it's it's not out front of him, but it's you know what I like about this one is it's an easy catch for the for him and he's able to gain about 10 yards after you know it's better it's a better throw than we saw Garoppolo make on the same exact play in New England. Oh, absolutely. Yes. But again, you see, this time he can't really drive into the throw. This is this is more of an NFL throw, and that's what you get. But he, he hits it. It's a hell of a throw. Mm -hmm. I mean, the Niners could use a guy who could hit that throw. Okay. Yeah, it's a really nice one. It's and another they, one. Dude. I think they're running quarterback power. Yeah. That doesn't work. And I think this is the one that you like. I think this is a little, this might be the little flip screen. No, it's a little screen to the outside. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Touchdown. So that's kind of a manufactured play. We haven't seen him like make a play in the red zone the way we see him make plays in the middle of the field. Something to keep an eye on. Correct. And and this is, this is a, this is a play though. We see a number of teams in the NFL running. The Cardinals used to do this a lot when uh, yeah. Bruce Arians was there. So they punt four and a half minutes later, they get the ball back still up three. Yeah, this is a this is, draw, a this is definitely their best play in their in their it's their best play. One it's their best running play in this game. Sure is. Yep. Great play. Okay. Takes off upfield 25 yards. Nice. Oh, you gotta love that. You gotta love that. See, this kid's a good athlete. Mm -hmm. The the little hesitation, the the juke. Oh, first of all, he's definitely using the ref as a blocker here. <laughs> he's running right at the ref. He's like, come on, man, come on, come on, block for me, block for me. <laughs> and right before he hits the ref, he like jukes in front of him. That's brilliant. I love this kid. Okay, I'm, I will put him five spots higher on my big board for that. Just alone. <laughs> That's great. He definitely uses him. He's trying to get out of the way. No, 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 I need you. I need you. I need you. <laughs> uh -huh. Great. All right. Nice, dude. Okay. Nice run. You're back. In That's key. Clutch. Clutch. Yeah, right down. You know, right. now they're getting, getting into field goal position. They're going to run the ball here. Actually, it's a little screen. Okay. We're going to screen out to the right side. It's going to be incomplete. I think he's going to throw this one on the ground. Oh, right. Yeah, he gets out there. Mike McGlinchey in motion. There we go. This Whoever this play designer is watches a lot of 49ers. A lot of similar concepts for sure. Yep. Huh? yep. They sort of do it from the pistol over here. So then All they right. come back. Now, this is going to be that crosser concept that we saw earlier. And, and he's finally going to – this is really a nice play from – from Wilson. He's got oh, his yeah. crossers. And he finally sits, you know, steps to his left, stays with it, and hits the that's an NFL throw. That's yes. an NFL throw. This, this is what you will see Patrick Mahomes do many times this coming weekend. It's great. Just you know, he's we've seen him we saw him bail on this one the last time they ran it. This time he just makes a you know, he's got keeps his eyes down the field, steps and hits him. Yeah, you got you got 
71 getting Mike McGlinchey. He feels the pressure, throws off his back foot. I mean, he doesn't throw it far, but who cares? It's a nice throw. That's no, nice. a good ball. Yep, good yep. Ball. Great play. It might be his nicest play of the game. I mean, to me, it's just that's an NFL play. Yes, it's one of the yeah. – yes, definitely. I like that. Mm -hmm. And then this is going to be a nice ball as well. It should be a – this should be a completion. And it's just dropped. It's going to be a slant to the right up top. Oh, yeah, it should be a touchdown. It's a hell of a throw, actually. It's a really nice throw. Great drop back in the red zone. Bar hash. Doesn't have, I mean, can't really crow hop into it. Bro. Yeah. Every time I want to write this kid off. Yeah, that definitely. Oh. That's what you. Cam, what you <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice, dude. Hits him right in the, right in the yeah. stomach. What do you want, dude? 30 yep. 10 hours. What you got next? That was a dart. Man, is the NFC West big enough for two Wilsons? I don't know, Jeff. <laughs> that might be a one Wilson rule. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a that was a nice ball. A little screen. Oh, that's just misses it. Eh, happens. Third ten. You're gonna get a false start. Now you're stuck third. in third and fifteen, and this is a terrific, terrific fade into the end zone for a touchdown. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> Yeah, oh boy, this is a this is this is Kyler Murray right here. It just looks like Kyler Murray to DeAndre Hopkins. It's great. Boom. See you later, Houston. Thanks for playing. Yeah. I enjoyed the competition. It was really great. Right wow. in the bucket. Boom. Like and such a confident. It's like I got this. It's so easy. No problem. Yeah, that's a beautiful ball. I mean, I don't. Does Jimmy throw this? Does he? Does he attempt this throw? I don't know. He might have a couple years ago. That's a great throw. Well, this kid's going to be a top 10 pit, I think. What do you think? He's going to go in the top 10. He's going to be probably with a second or third guy that's going to go. Yeah. Uh, you know, in this game, this game, he had some, some rough moments. He had some really good moments. It was a, it was an uneven performance that overall looks really good because of the stat line. Yeah. Looks, you know, looks really good. But, yeah. Uh, it's it was I think I think this performance is better than what we saw last week against Louisiana Tech because yeah. he's having to make some some uh, tougher throws. Uh, we see him not not make as many strong arm throws because he's not able to drive. But you know, definitely a lot of things to like about this game. Yeah, um, I I really like him, but then I remind myself, you know, I think Sam Darnold would probably make a lot of these wild plays at BYU as well. And if you're talking about a quarterback you're taking in the top five, then you got to be skeptical and you got to really be, you got to nitpick his entire game. And I don't see the arm strength of a, of a lock top five pick to me, his, the, the job is going to become much more difficult for him in the NFL. And there's going to be a transition and it would just be better for him if he was a late first round pick and could sit on the bench for a minute until he's ready. I, I totally agree. I mean, he, you can see some skills there, but he, he's, the the arm strength would be a concern because he's not going to be able to make those those you know drive yeah. throws that he's able to do right now. Mm -hmm. um, and the other concern is is his field vision would be a concern at the next level. You know, we he he's not consistent with his with with the uh, pressure in the pocket, right. uh, like he and and that's what he's going to see a lot more of. And so it's I think he's uh, a little bit of a risk if you're taking him at the top and you know the top ten. Yeah, and you know, uh, coffee's for closers who we go way back with. One of his things that he says is he's looking for traits you can't coach. And everyone's looking for, you know, arm strength, foot speed. He says, you know, field vision. Field vision is something you got or you don't. And, and he, I think he's right about that. And I, I'm not saying Zach Wilson doesn't have it, but he doesn't show great field vision. And he didn't show it in this game. Yeah, he doesn't. It's not a, he doesn't show it on, on a regular basis. It's not a, it's not a down after down. It's not consistent. What he does is he has the ability to hold the ball a long time and find things eventually and make plays that way because he's athletic and he has a great offensive line. Yeah. Yeah. So for sure. And then he's able to, he's able to, to sit back there and, and look around at times or, you know, as you mentioned, he's, he's standing in there and just really, you know, able to, to fire it in there and not having to make those quick, uh, quick throws, if that makes sense. Yeah. You know, okay. Final thing I want to say with Zach Wilson, because I think we're done with him now. We're going to move on and do other quarterbacks now. And what I've seen from him, I really like, but here's, 
I'd be really I don't I wouldn't draft him with a top 10 pick and here's why. I like the way he plays. I think he plays the type of quarter the type his style is what you're looking for. Honestly, he plays like Josh Allen. That's exactly how Josh Allen tries to play, to scramble around and extend plays and and throw down field, but he's way smaller than Josh Allen. And I feel like even with Deshaun Watson, with Watson and Murray, he's not as athletic as those two, but those guys who play like Allen and are smaller, every time they scramble and get hit, I'm like, are you okay? Are you okay? And you wonder, like, can you make it through a whole season or are you eventually going to have to just become a pocket passer and stop playing like that because you can't, you can't last with Josh Allen. He can do that. He can do that. And when he gets in hits, I'm like, Oh, I hope the defender's okay. So that's the only thing I guess. I wonder if he's going to be durable in the NFL playing this way. Sure. Sure. And the other thing that where I, I, I can see where you're saying Josh Allen because of the the movement. Yeah. Uh, just the style, yeah. how he wants but, yeah. to play, how he yeah. wants to play. Yeah. Yes. How he wants I'm to play. Saying, I'm not saying he's Josh Allen. Cause he's not. But, yeah, no, and that's exactly because he does not. He's nowhere near no. Josh Allen when it comes to the the strength of the arm, but definitely the movement and the, and the wanna wanna get out and run around. That's that's definitely what he wants to do. That's his favorite quarterback. That's who he watches <laughs> on YouTube late at night. Yeah, absolutely.